my goodness, it's so hot. We have air conditioning. Why um, is this like menopause, perimenopause? What in the world? Hello everyone, it is April and I am back. It is time for us to choose what I'm going to read in August. It's the end of summer and by time for us to choose, I really mean it's time for me to choose. Now, uh, we do need to address that it has been a minute. I feel like it's been maybe like two weeks since I've filmed and talked to you guys. And I wanted to do a little quiz with you guys, see what you think, how well you know my life. Do you think I disappeared from YouTube for a while because A, I was on a lovely vacation in Paris. B, I moved house. Or C, I got sick again. Ding, 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 all of you who answered C, which I believe is every single one of you. Yes, I got sick again. I uh, currently can barely hear because I've got uh, an ear infection or two. And I've got pink eye, thank you daycare. Uh, I had a whole, a whole cold. Nothing has changed in my life. We are like the family of illness in 2022. So yeah, I disappeared, I am back. And I am ready to chat with you about the books I want to read in August. Now, one thing that I did want to do with you guys is a little unboxing. Um, I am very happy to be working again with Book of the Month. Uh, Book of the Month is sponsoring this video. And they sent over two books. They have a selection of seven for August. Very varied in terms of themes, there are thrillers, there's historical fiction, there's fantasy, there's all sorts of stuff on there. Now I got to pick two and they are in this box. I have not opened the box. I've shown restraint. Even though I know what's in here, it's still very exciting. So um, yeah, same old, same old. Essentially, I am going to ask Book of the Month every single time they want to work with me. Please come to Canada. We love you. We will support you here in Canada. Please make it work because we really really want that um okay let's see what's in here book of the month is so fantastic because it is so varied and you're getting like super new releases sometimes you get the releases earlier than they are out in the bookstore they've also got a podcast i don't know if you know about that the podcast essentially interviews uh, authors that they have selected from book of the month uh in the past and that's called virtual book tour the box and there is a book in this box let's start with that one okay so i got to select two for this month and uh both of them are some of my most anticipated thrillers of 2022 the first book i want to share with you is girl forgotten by karen slaughter i actually i think i had pre-ordered this and then i promptly canceled that because they were offering to send it to me Girl Forgotten follows an unsolved murder that took place in 1982 in Long Bill Beach. Emily Vaughn was getting ready for prom. She was very excited. And by the end of the night, she is found dead. Now, it does turn out that she did have some secrets. And that secret was linked to her death. But they still don't know who killed Emily. The town, the family, the friends have mourned for this victim and have kind of moved on but one U.S. Marshal has not moved on and her name is Andrea. She's back in the area to apparently solve a different issue but she's really there to find out what happened to Emily all of those years ago. I am really hopeful that this is going to be good because I, I love that it's set in the 80s. 80s vibes all the way for me. I grew up in the 80s. Um, so I'm really hopeful it's going to be a good one. Should we read the first line? Because I have, I'm have i hauling it now for you guys. And this is kind of what we do here. April 17th, 1982. Emily Vaughn frowned at the mirror. Not a five-star first line, but I'm putting it on my August TBR. I can't wait. It sounds like the perfect way to end the summer. Uh, so yes. Next is Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. You guys know I have enjoyed Alice Feeney for so many years now. I really love her writing. So Daisy Darker is a bit of a nod to Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None, or as it says here, a wicked wink to it. I love that. And this follows 
a family, a family that are not in any way close knit. In fact, they kind of hate each other and have for many a year now. They've avoided each other until they can no longer avoid each other because Nana is turning 80 and she's decided she wants to gather her whole family together one last time um, on her crumbling Gothic, I think, estate on a tiny tidal island. Now everybody arrives and very soon after they arrive, Nana is found dead. And then another person is found dead. I don't know whether they're killing the people in the family in in order of age or what have you, but one by one, they're all being killed off by their own family members. Uh, you know, they don't have any issues at all. It sounds like they're doing just fine. No therapy needed. So let's read the first line of Daisy Darker. I was born with a broken heart. Not a five-star first line, but I am very, very excited for that. So that's also going on my August TBR. So if you are interested in signing up for Book of the Month, one day we'll be able to do it here in Canada. But if you're in the U.S., um, you can sign up and get your first book uh, for $9.99 if you use the code SIZZLE. All right, so my August TBR is starting off very, very well. A few of my favorite people on BookTube have created a really fun little readathon that started on August 1st. Of course, it's not over until August 15th, and that is the Summer Mixtape Readathon. I wanted to film this so much earlier so that I could get this out to you guys, but in any case, I still want to participate. You can't stop me. <laughs> I'm going to participate. This is hosted by Leanne and Victoria, Charlotte, and Jean, so there's still lots of time to particip participate if you're interested. Okay, let's go through the prompts and see what I can choose here. Uh, question number one, here comes the sun. Read a book with nature on the cover. Now, I am using some of my existing TBR because I can, and so I shall. And for that, I'm going to use Daisy Darker. There's lots of just like a coastal vibe here. There's a tiny little house in the background, but mostly you're seeing nature. I think there's a storm involved in this, which is so perfect for end of summer. So yeah, I'm going to go with Daisy Darker for this prompt. Prompt number two is blame it on the weatherman. And for this, you're supposed to read an unseasonal read. So books that don't give you summer vibes, books that might give you, I don't know, fall vibes. And for this prompt, I want to read The Lighthouse Witches by C.J. Cook. I have actually started listening to this on audio. Um, it actually does have summer vibes on the front, but because it's about witches, it's very much more of a fall thing in my mind. Um, so this follows a family of girls and, and a mother who go to this lighthouse. I think the mom is there to do... Um, some sort of art piece for uh, the owner of the lighthouse. Um, she brings her daughters along. And I think the entire family, except one of the daughters, goes missing. They vanish without a trace. And they vanish for something like 20 years. Now, Luna is the one sister who is left behind. She does move on with her life. She is pregnant. And... She gets a call that one of her sisters has somehow survived, has somehow come back. And she decides, of course, she's going to take in her sister. Um, this woman is going to be needed to take care of. And she wants to, you know, pick back up where they left off. When she goes to pick up her sister at the hospital, she finds a little girl. And the little girl looks exactly like her sister is her sister but remains a child who should now be something like 27 years old but is still just seven. Ah oh, what in the world it's 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 good so far I'm really liking it so I want to read The Lighthouse Witches for that prompt. Prompt number three this one is just this is just a killer for me okay you guys it's Cake by the Ocean. Read a book involving food or read a spicy book. Now, I don't really have a lot of books on my shelves that involve food. And I also don't have books on my shelves that are uh, romantic. 
uh, spicy. I I just don't get on with it. So I'm I'm kind of forcing this. This is a for this is like you know when the stepsisters try on the glass slipper in Cinderella and they make it fit. They try to make it fit, but it just doesn't. That's what this is. So I am being honest with you. But here we are. I am choosing the Hacienda for this. I really want to read this this summer. It just feels summery to me. This is meant to be a bit of a Rebecca retelling or has Rebecca vibes, which is right up my alley. Um, this follows a woman named Beatrice. And when the Mexican government is overthrown, her father, I believe, is executed. And she feels uh, very forced to marry a man um, named Rodolfo. Um, he has a lot of, uh, there are a lot of rumors around him. He's got a reputation. His first wife uh, died mysteriously. A lot of people tell her, like, please do not marry him. You know, yes, he proposed. Yes, he's wealthy. All of those good things. But like, this could end bad badly. And she ignores them and decides to marry him. And she goes and stays with him at the Hacienda, which is, I believe is his house. And yeah, things are bad. Things are bad. I chose this for like spicy read because there is something spicy about a hurried romance and that beginning of a relationship, it is a bit more spicy. Whoa. See, force fit. Uh, but here we are. <laughs> now the fourth prompt is, we're going to Ibiza. Read a book set in another country. And I'm actually very close to ending this book, but that's probably good because we're like, you know, we're in, we're into August now. Um, this is Broken Harbor by Tana French. This is set in Ireland. This um, is part of the Dublin Murder Squad series. I'm working my way through the whole series. This is the fourth. I love Tana French's writing. This is a broken record thing. Uh, you guys know how much I just adore her. So uh, Broken Harbor follows a detective who comes on the scene of a a murder, a very grisly, vicious murder. There are four people in this home in a, a suburban development that hasn't actually been finished. So some houses are finished, some are not. And the, um, the developer just kind of walked away. So like, that's gonna probably end there and you're never gonna be able to sell your house but it doesn't matter for these people because they're all dead so we have a um a man who was um viciously stabbed to death um a, a mom um who is also stabbed but she's like on the brink of death will she survive will she not you have to read it to find out and then sadly two children upstairs in their beds who were smothered to death. Uh, that it's been kind of hard to read on that. But um, this book follows our detective trying to find out what happened. He has a past also a Broken Harbor that he doesn't really love going to in his mind because there's a lot of bad memories in Broken Harbor. And now he's just piling on more with this dead family. So yes, I'm reading that set in Ireland. I don't live in Ireland. So I haven't even gone to Ireland. That has to be rectified. Number five, mixtape. Pick a book based on your favorite summer bop or a free choice. So I'm going with the free choice thing because I can. And I'm going with Girl Forgotten. So now that said, I do have two other books that I would really love to read this summer. And it's this is the end of summer, really. So I've got two and I wanted to share them with you as well. They're both historical fiction. Um, the first is Remarkable Creatures by Tracy Chevalier. I adore Tracy Chevalier, but I haven't read her since basically the beginning of the year. And she is now one of my favorite authors. So come on, April, pick her up. So this follows two women who are fossil hunters in the 19th century. I don't know when it... Yes, 19th century. And the people who discovered new species at this time were predominantly men. However, uh, that might not be entirely true. Maybe the men have just kind of 
taking it upon themselves to say that they discovered the creature when in fact it was someone else. So we follow Mary and we also follow um, Elizabeth and they forge this friendship together based on their ability to find these fossils along the beach. It sounds incredible. I've heard incredibly good things. I think Jen Campbell had this on one of her favorite books of, I think it was 2020 that she read this and loved it. In any case, I desperately want to read it. Perfect for summer. And I'm afraid if I don't read it this August, it's going to sit on my shelves until next summer. The other book I'd really like to read is The Animals at Lockwood Manor. Uh, if you notice this little tag thing, I'm rearranging my bookshelves by season, which is weird. But yeah, I, I'm trying to like in my historical fiction shelves have things like in order of like spring, summer, you know what I mean. Uh, so yes, the turquoise is summer in my mind. So The Animals at Lockwood Manor is a book uh, about World War II and they follow 30-year-old Hetty Cartwright. She arrives at Lockwood Manor to oversee a natural history, history museum collection that's been taken out of London because you know the bombs are dropping or about to drop and they're being safely moved to the countryside to keep them you know intact essentially she's there to oversee the collection and things are really weird at Lockwood Manor there are things that are moving like literally stuffed creatures moving in the night she hears things in the night it's just not a good situation and I am here for it and want to read it so those are all of the books that I want to read in August Apologies again if my voice is weird or what have you. I just, I, I'm still, it's C. I'm still sick. I'm getting over it, but I missed you guys and I wanted to share this with you. So I hope you are all very, very well. Let me know in the comments below what you're planning on reading in August, end of summer. Do you have anything that's like you need to get to before the summer is through? I'd love to know what that is and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.